It may come as a surprise to the Right Honourable Lady, but actually some leaders trust their deputies to stand in for them. (laughs) And, And when it comes to mortgage rates, I support the independence of the Bank of England taking the necessary measures to control inflation. Just ask the IMF about what we have done in support of them. They have said we have taken decisive and responsible action to bring down inflation, and we will continue to do so. But what is Labour's plan? To borrow £28 billion a year, pushing up inflation. To cut our domestic energy supply, pushing up inflation. And to penalise workers saving into their pensions, pushing up inflation. There we have it from Labour. Endless borrowing and higher prices. Angela Rayner. Mr Speaker, we've had 13 years of Conservative failures. And that homeowners watching that pathetic answer will be cringing that they aren't celebrating the government's success. They're counting the cost of their failures. And the only thing that's not soaring in prices at the moment is these gags that are getting cheaper by the minute. And Mr Speaker, it's not just homeowners that are suffering. Security of renters have been ripped away too, with higher mortgage costs handed directly to them. I don't think the Prime Minister is going to take any lectures on weakness from the party opposite. I, re- I remember that there's a lot of talk about reshuffle in the air from the, the Labour Party. The last time the leader of the Labour Party tried to sack the Right Honourable Lady, she walked out with a promotion. <laughs> But we will continue to stand behind renters and to support them. And my right honourable friend will take all necessary steps. Angela Rayner. Mr Speaker, that, that, that answer is pathetic for all those people that are facing homelessness on his watch. So when will he finally stand up for the national interest instead of their own interests and build more houses? Prime Minister. I say to the Right Honourable Lady, she may, she may not have listened to the answer I gave and just moved straight on to the next pre scripted question. We have, got, we have built more houses under this government than the party opposite. And I'm afraid it's the same old thing from her. She stacks up the endless job titles, she takes the union cash, and she constantly talks. Britain down. That's why we will do everything we can to keep Labour out of people's pockets, out of their lives and out of government.